Hello and welcome to the transcription explanation of this design. It is yet another variation of the word allons that I have done, and I'm quite happy with how different and how beautiful all of the designs have been, and this is also a great chance to showcase the flexibility of this script. So if you see my other allons designs, uh, this is how this says the same thing as all the rest. So you read this script starting at the bottom and then going counterclockwise, like a time traveler going back in time, and that is written right here and it's also shown by the arrow on the blue word circle so reading order is bottom counterclockwise and you can spiral inwards so here we have our first letter right at the bottom these dots are not letter stems they're just modifiers a letter's position is where its stem is and letter stems are these black lines or vowel stems are these colored lines here well colored circles I should say not lines um, so yeah this is the A because it is outside our word circle here. So see how this blue one is outside this blue word circle? That makes this an A. And then we continue around and we have this whole stack of letters. Any letter in the same row can be stacked. And letter stacking is pretty tricky. Letters with the same stem can be stacked and consonants are read before vowels. And you read thin to thick and the same thickness as the same letter and each slash through a vowel moves it up one letter in the stack. And I actually use every single one of those rules in this letter stack. So we have our thin lines. We read thin to thick. There are two thin lines, so there's two of the same letter. So there are two of this letter. And if we look through here, there's no lines that end on it. But there are these three dots, one, two, three. And these dots have to have a home. They have to go to some letter. And the closest letter is this double line. So three dots on a double line makes that a double L. And then we have this N, which is a thicker circle. So you read the double L before the N. And this N has one line ending on it right here, like that. And then here is our O. It's attached like a bead on a string. And it has a slash through it. So normally this would be read as A double L O. Wait, A double L N O with the O written here after the N. But this slash brings it up from the back of the stack to in front of the N. So this would be a double L O N because the O has one slash through it. It's pretty tricky, the letter stacking. But we have three of the same letters, L, L, N, in the order that they are written here. So we have the L's and then the N, thin, thick, and then the O brought up in front of the end because it's got one slash through it. So that would be the double L-O-N. And then we have this S, which is a shallow divot with one, two, three lines on it. Yes, the same line can curve around and end on the same shallow divot, counting twice. So those three lines make it an S. And then this is a triple line hyphen here. And that connects from the sentence circle to the word circle, typically. And then we have our Y which has one, two dots on a circle on the line of the word circle. And then that A again. So A, double L, O, all stacked together. A, double L, O, N, four letters all together. S and then hyphen Y. So that is that design. I hope that makes a little bit of sense. And yay for letter stacking, the trickiest part of the script. Bye.